Tell him to stop trimming the bushes, Ant. I want to have a word. <laughs> I can best that out of too. Come on. Come on, enough's enough. Well, you're very welcome to the Lightweight Boxing Show. This week we're in Sheffield. It's a bit of a Sheffield special and there's a few things we're going to have to tackle, Anthony, because I know yep. we're very biased about Manchester fighters and stuff. Are we? You are. <laughs> but we are in Sheffield and there's some pedigree yep. here, both amateur and pro. Again, just over there, the English Institute of Sport, yep. where GB's based uh, and more of that. And we're going we're gonna to have a special visit to a gym and also... Because of this place behind us, we're going to catch up with one of the stars of the next show here on August the 6th as well, Dalton Smith. One of the best talents yeah. in British boxing, in my opinion. Yeah, he's going to be headlining here as well, and it's a very talented gym. So we're going to find out what's going on there, of course, all under the leadership of Grant Smith, who is on holiday at the minute. But we are going to catch up with some of the fighters, of course. And we are going to have a little look ahead to the weekend a bit later on because there's a massive night, isn't there? Billim Smith against Chamberlain. So I'll get your thoughts on that in a bit. There is. But Josh before... Kelly over in Newcastle. Of course. As well. Of course he so is. There's another. Um... But yeah, no, it's good to be here. I just want one thing out of you then, Anne. When we talk Sheffield and boxing, what immediately comes to mind? Ah. I think for a lad my age growing up, you know, looking up to fighters, not that I ever fought like him, I wasn't allowed or good enough. It's Nazim Ahmed. Yeah. I've seen him here at this yeah. arena. I remember one, I think one of the best, it was a belated birthday present. Joe Calzaghe, Richard Woodall here, same bill as Asselino Freitas, Neil Sinclair fighting for a world title. Mm. The night, unfortunately, Paul Ingle. Yeah. It's okay, but listen, you look through, go through the years, you know, before that, before Naz, you Errol Graham, I know you come down from Nottingham, you Johnny Nelsons, you, yeah. after that, Clinton Woods, you forget how many big fights Clinton yeah. Woods was in. Our very own Ricky Atten was here as yep. well, Carlos Malza. Uh, there's been some unbelievable fights at this arena. Do you remember as well, last summer, the Fight Zone Arena in the car park over there as well? It does, it looks it very like, different yeah, now. There were some great but... nights in the summer and we got, you know what, we got some great weather. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Well, of course, we are going to be talking more about Sheffield and it's the Sheffield show today. As I say, we're going to have a look at the action coming up ahead. But we thought we'd take a visit to one of the key gyms in this city surrounded by Seven Hills and that gym is the Steel City Gym. How long can you trust yourself to not flop on that treadmill? How long can your legs hold you up? Come on, Dalton, 30 seconds! That's all it is, 30 seconds. Close your eyes, close your eyes. We've been watching you a little bit earlier as well because you've been kind of boxer turned coach, but that's something that you've always been doing as well. You were obviously just uh, urging the lads on when they were doing that horror run. I think the way I've been for a long time, I've always been sort of, I look at boxing through a certain lens and I, and I, and I can maybe communicate it a certain mm. way. So. You know, when I'm working alongside uh, my fighters in, in, in my gyms, yeah, I don't mind giving my, my expertise, say, or my, my help or motivation or whatever I'm thinking they might need. I like the fact that in my gym, I'm probably looked up to in, in a, a, a relative light where when I talk boxing or when I maybe have something to say, it gets listened to. It, yeah. it, you know what I mean? Not everything I say is right. I'm not pretending to be that person, but I feel like I can look and, and dissect and I know the fighters in here quite well. So mm. once I've got that relationship with them where, you know, I'm not doing it in a way of I'm trying to make you feel bad or I'm not doing it in a way of I'm trying to put you down or it's always from a place of me wanting uh, them, this career, my career, my environment that I train in just to be the best it possibly can be. We're very competitive here. You can come down any day, the standard of cleanliness, the standard of training, the mm. standard of everything will always be the same. Um, and we've got a good thing going on down here. And I think, you know what I mean? If you really dial back to the last five years, the, the results of Steel City Gym have been probably second to none in this country, I would say. 
Do you know what I mean? Eddie, Eddie got a bit offended um, <laughs> a few months ago. We won't talk about that because I apologised. <laughs> like a humble small cog in a major, you know, business move should. Um, but I did wake up to a message he must have sent me. I woke up at about half six. I don't know what time zone Eddie's in right now. I'm yeah. not, I, can't, I'm not, I can't keep track of his movements, but <laughs> yes. it was about half 12 at night, my time. He commented on my picture. He doesn't follow me as well. It so it's kind of like right now, it's kind of like a bit of X. It's kind of like a bit of X. He put catfish under my picture <laughs> of, of my game. And I don't know where it comes from, but like, don't get me wrong, I woke up with a smile on my face, and as you can imagine. Um, gave my little reply. I said to Eddie, uh, let's keep the name calling until he signed the contract. Because yeah. the last time I started name calling, I was told that I won't get in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> I had to apologize. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep the name calling until pen to paper, books, flights, all of that. And then. Yeah, but I'm I'm buzzing. I think the fight's done. To, to my knowledge, I green-lighted it 18 months ago in interviews, but two weeks ago, I agreed finances. I just said, I'll go anywhere in the world. Yeah. Anywhere, it doesn't matter to me. I wanted to go to Mexico. I want to go to Mexico still. I want to return the favour of what he did to my big brother in front of me in my yeah. hometown. Mm. That in the storyline, at the end of the... You know what I mean? They might make a film about that. Yeah. Who knows where, mine, where, where my story might get big yeah. enough to, but... That for me ticks so many more boxes. Like, I like all the things that antagonize me. I like all the things that stimulate me. That, that you know, stack up the chips in my favor. I went, come on, we'll go to a football pitch in the mountains of Mexico yeah. in that three o'clock in the afternoon. I'll still fight you. Facts, and I'm not joking. I'm not just saying it because it sounds good to come up my mouth. Yeah, I don't care because once you're in survival mode, it's me versus him and two arms and two legs. Yes, nothing else matters. If I start going in there thinking, oh, well, they've dragged me over to Mexico, I don't want to be here. I'm beat before I get on the plane, yeah. I'll stay at home. If anything, the whole time I've been going, nah, I'm coming to Mexico. I'm not, even, I'm not even inviting you to my country. I'm coming to yours. <laughs> now imagine, imagine, yeah. And, yeah, someone comes to your house, yeah. <laughs> Banging on your front door. And, and they've slapped your brother up or something. Or, or you find out that someone's come to your brother's yeah. house and slapped them up. You're going to go to their house and slap them up. Yeah. Like, and that's just kind of the mentality that I approach my whole life with. Like, yeah. And this is perfect. And you also get to give me a chance to prove that I'm the number one flyweight in the world. I'm, I'm the number one with the WBC, the IBF, the Ring magazine should be attached. Yeah. And on top of all that, the greatest achievement and the greatest accolade and the longest competition I've ever had in my life. You get to give me the chance to show the whole world that I'm the better Edwards brother. <laughs> like completely convincingly. And then we could just end the discussions from there on onwards. So... Like, you can't, you can't give me all them opportunities to do thing in one 36-minute fight and expect me not to run away with it and, 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 and reach levels I've never reached before. Like, you can't. I'm on a nutritionist. I pay him on an arm and a leg. They cook some of my food already. I'm, four, I'm 14 weeks out, potentially. Yeah. I've never done that. I'm normally eating yes. takeaways three, four weeks out. Seriously, because I yeah. do everything so easy. This whole career so far to this point has all it's been within myself. Well. All within myself, I train hard. I know yeah. what to do. Every time you see me in the gym, I work. I like of fighting. Course. I like boxing. So that's not an issue. But certain other things, but nah, like my diet and just little like one percent physio warming up yeah. stuff like that. But I'm not doing it. I'm on it now from long Every time. Every last out. percentage you can I've been, get out yourself. I come back from Dubai from my last fight. I had three days over there. Came back. Had three days rest. I was in the gym on the Monday. Yeah. I tried sparring on the Wednesday when lads were coming down and Grant wouldn't let me. I'll yeah. come in the gym next day after like half moaning a couple of sessions. Yeah. I got spun on Wednesday. I've just yeah. fought 12 round world title yeah. fight. Defended, had a fight because I wanted to. And I come back, I want to fight, I want to spar. Yeah. That's, that's me. Like, I don't do anything else. I don't, I don't get that much enjoyment out of anything else. Yeah. Like, I just want to fight. I would have fought Martinez four, five, six, less than that. I would fight every single weekend if it was deemed possible. If we could make a league and some people yeah. that thought, oh, instead of sparring, I'm just going to fight every week yeah. and then just do my fucking ice and then go back in next week and just stay fit. A couple of runs on Monday, Tuesday, go again. Go. I'll do that. Get paid like footballers then and we'll be flying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be just Still moving there. around for 12 rounds constantly. I'll be flying. The man himself, Dalton Smith, we were just watching you go through your paces before on that treadmill. Sonny yeah. screaming out yeah. a bit of encouragement, but it looked absolutely horrendous, to be honest. Death it's very warm in here anyway, but uh, yeah. tell us how it... Say. Well, you said you warned us anyway. You said, come and catch me dying on the, on the run. <laughs> and you weren't joking me, it was horrible. Yeah, we always do that run two weeks out from, from, from any fight, you know, just, it's more, it's more to, you know, take you to the mental places. Mm. You know, so, some people are better runners, but mm. some people have, can go to the deep, deeper places mentally. And, you know, that, that's what that run's about. And, yeah, believe me, we go to some mental places there. It's, it's a mental battle, but, um, you know, it's, um, it's all good. Yeah. August the 6th, biggest night of your career. Would you say this is a real coming out night for you? You know, everyone in boxing knows about Dallin Smith, but now 
you're going to get that platform. The whole city of Sheffield is going to be out to support you. You know, the fight got made and, you know, now it's getting closer. It's like, you know, wow, this is, you know, this is going to be a big night, you know. Got a great fighter in Sam who I'm up against for the British, so. You know, it's I've a had derby to, as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a Sheffield yeah. derby, so, um, you know, I've had to give it 100% like yeah. I always do. And, you know, I've always said I always thrive under pressure and, you know, it's going to be a night, it's going to be a special night for me and, um, and I'm really going to shine in it. Yeah. It's, it's a bit different on many levels though, isn't it? It's hometown, adds a little bit of pressure. The ring walk, I'm sure, has gone through your head because you're, you're topping your, your local arena and that's every lad's dream, isn't it? You know, when you're coming yeah. through, you were Sheffield's best ever amateur, but mm. you were always dreaming of these nights, weren't you? So is it going to add that little bit more pressure-wise and make you that little bit better, do you feel? Of course, the pressure there and, you know, every fight I have now is that little added pressure. Obviously, a little bit more with it being in my hometown and, you know, the Sheffield arena, so... But you, you'll know yourself, once you're in the ring, it's, it's yeah. the same atmosphere, it's just, you know, it's you and your opponents. Energy. Yeah. Know, it took him about 20 trend. minutes to get to the ring. He was always messing about. He, he, he milked it. the moment like you can't milk believe, it. Didn't he? That's See, gonna... You only get so many ring walks in your career, you've got to take them, aren't you? You've got to enjoy every one. So but no, it's um, you know, I'm gonna enjoy the ring walk, I'm gonna enjoy the atmosphere and obviously once you're in the ring it's your energy and your opponents. And you know, I've had plenty of fights now, it's nothing new to me and you know, as long as I stay calm, collected and you know, that's that's the way I fight and that's the way I am, you know, it's gonna be no different. It's going to be a super proud night for your dad. You does so much work that doesn't get the credit it probably deserves, like any boxing knows. But how's it going to be for you, sort of sharing a card, well, topping a card with your mates and gym mates, Janaid, Nico? You know, it's just going to be a great night for, for the gym, you know, being able to have my gym mates on my undercard. You know, it's crazy. It's like I've been professional for three years now and, you know, I'm headlining the Sheffield Arena and, and you think, where does time go? You know, mm -hmm. your career just goes on a high before you know it. It's interesting that the setup here, I've been in here a few times before and obviously your dad does fantastic work, but you're all involved and we've seen Sonny do a bit of coaching. I've seen you do a bit of coaching in here. You've had the Sheffield Wednesday Academy lads yeah. in here. How much of help is that as you go along now having that club support, Sheffield Wednesday and everything else and, and you know the, the fans, the players, I know you're mates with some of the players as well, aren't you? Well, I think this fight alone's, you know, really showed me what that's done for me. You know, the tickets are flying out. I'm not able yeah. to get any more. Even though it's a next gen show, you know, they only do a thousand, 1, fifteen hundred tickets. Yeah. You know, we're in five thousand now, and you know the place is selling out. So, you know, that just shows, you know, how the club in Sheffield's actually getting behind me, and you know, Sheffield Wednesday support me before before I turn professional. Mm. You know, and they haven't done it forcefully. They've done it because they wanted to do it. They've really wanted to get behind me and. You know, I'm very thankful for the fans, you know, how they're pushing and, you know, they get, they've, they've given me one of the best supports, support I've got around, so, you know, I'm very thankful for them. Asking you, what's the dream? Is it Hillsborough? <clears throat> world title fight at Hillsborough? 100%. <laughs> Obviously, the number one goal is to become a world champion. Yeah. You know, that's why, that's why us fighters get into the sport. You know, the, you know, you get into the sport because you want to reach the highest possible. Mm -hmm you know reach for the stars and skies the limits and all that so and to do it at Hillsborough Stadium you know defending or fighting for a world title you know that'll be the cherry on the top so you know that the club's actually in the process of getting all that obviously they have to go through the stages of getting licenses and stuff and you know they're already on the so ball the with that. The wheels are in motion. Yeah yeah the yeah, wheels yeah. are in motion yeah. and they, that's been in you know that, that that got going you know I'd say probably a year ago so you know, they did that off their own bike. They're, they're eager to get me at the, yeah. at the ground. So, you know, as it is, it's up to me now to keep winning, keep performing, keep stepping up them levels. And, you know, one day, one day walking out in, to Hillsborough, to, um, to all those fans, you know, it'd be a dream come true. In my head, Sam's Mike Tyson. You know, that's, that's how I prepare for fights. Mentally, physically, I'm, I'm, you know, the best fighter possible when I step in the ring. So, you know, the respect's there with me and Sam, there's no bad blood. You know, we, we've actually sparred probably five years ago when I was on GB. So, mm. you know, we, we kind of know each other, you know, style-wise. And, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be a great fight. Mm. Sheffield for a long time has been one of the yeah. unbelievable fight towns, fight cities mm -hmm. in Great Britain and uh, I know yourself well, the same, I have no doubt this man's going to be joining those names and yeah. we just want to wish you all the best. He's just laughing at the dog, I bet you can hear it grinding on the camera, yeah. can't Canelo, you? Canelo, yeah, <laughs> right. let's get her in. Canelo!
Yeah. Canelo, Canelo does what Canelo wants. <laughs> yeah, I'm not telling her no. <laughs> but uh, but no, Sheffield, as you say, it's, you forget actually the the, the talent and the the legends yeah. what's come through. Yeah. Um, you know, and obviously my first memories of the Sheffield Arena was um, going to watch Clinton Woods and Ricky Atten yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, obviously being there and like you're starstruck, you know what yeah. I mean? You, yeah. you get that I think that's where you really get the bug for boxing when you go to fights like that. And you know, it's you know, I, I believe it's my turn now. Obviously, mm -hmm. as you know yourself, boxing's a short career, you get 10, 15 years. Um and obviously once your time's gone, then the new crop come through and, and that that's what's happening now. And you know, I believe and and hope and believe, you know, I'm gonna be one of those those Sheffield grits. Well, great catching up with Sonny Edwards. He's always got a few things to say, I think it's fair to say. Sonny yeah, he's not shy to nah. say what he really thinks. He's not. And Dalton, uh, again, a sensible head on young shoulders. And yeah. I, I mean, I know we've spoken to him and we both expect him to do great things. But when you think of Sheffield and the recent world champions, Kid Galahad, obviously Kel Brook, done great things. Yeah. He's now gone out on that great victory against Amir Khan. But Dalton, we believe, is going to be the next world champion I in these, these parts. Yeah, I certainly believe yeah. that. I fought it for a good while now, and um, I believe he follows their footsteps and becomes. We might get one before them, but I believe he joins that list, that elite list of Sheffield World Champions that we've seen yeah. from this great fighting city. And um, sin, you can't look past Samuel Mason, but I believe wins that British title, and then he won't be rushed. His dad's very wise. He'll get the right fights at the right time. So, but whether he defends it three times or not, I don't know. But um, there's no rush with him. He's a um, young lad, loves it. Supports building massively. Um, he goes out there, does the job against Sam Mason. It's, um, it's the platform for this to get bigger and bigger. Well, just before we go, of course, we mentioned it earlier. There is a big fight at the weekend. It's Chris Billum Smith against Isaac Chamberlain by the seaside as well, no less. Yes, so getting that very fight. interesting. Every fighter wants to fight in their hometown. They, they want to fight and bring boxing, and particularly Bournemouth. It, it's not a fighting town, it's, is it? Let's face it. It's not, but they've been crying out for shows yeah. for years. You know, I know some of the fighters down there, they've been yeah. crying out for shows for years, and uh, there's no denying it. You know, Boxer have delivered yeah. for Chris Billum Smith, and it's a great fight. Him and Isaac Chamberlain, it's a great fight. I just believe Billum Smith is one of the most improved fighters in Britain under Shane McGuigan. Yep. It's and, stable, um, that, isn't it? It's a fantastic yeah. stable, but I believe that'll um, be a real homecoming for Chris Billum Smith and um, he comes through that one. I suppose it's unfair really to say it's not a great fighting city. It's not really got the, 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 the big names the, that have come out of yes. there, but, but there is there is talent in there that is, area, isn't it? The amateur demand, gyms and, and everything there. else. So it is good to see it go there, but it does need someone like Chris to put it on the map, doesn't and it? Of course, and I believe like he's man, obviously it comes with pressure, but I believe he's the man for the job. Well, we look forward to that one and it's been great being in Sheffield. We're gonna have to get over that hill again, Ant, so. Better set off, better get going. Better uh, yeah, yeah. We'll be on the road again next week, so we look forward to that. So, as ever, go to the YouTube channel, notifications, turn them on, subscribe, like, do all that. There's loads and loads of content now. Some magnificent work from Anthony Million Dollar Crawler Thank as you. well. Thanks you say it, Sam. You say it. Yeah, Check it out. It's all true. It's all true. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Lightweight Boxing Show. <laughs>